Welcome to an introduction to accounting and to admin soft accounts. In this podcast we are going to look at the renaming, the addition and the deletion of accounts within the nominal ledger. So we go up and select our nominal ledger here and look for the account details. We will see that we have our screen and this is our screen for finding an account and if I look at the 4000 series I can see that there are general sales there and I want to rename that account and I'm going to call this sales of plants and I don't want to alter any other details so I'm going to save that one click on OK so that altered the name of an account. Now, what about doing something else? Let's have a new account. And I'm going to have account number 4001. The type of account, it is an income account because I'm going to do sales one again. I'm not interested in the budget group. We haven't got any as you can see, nor am I interested in the report group other than the fact that it has to be sales in the cash flow group this comes under the heading of well it's income isn't it so it's cash received and this is going to be the sales of we've had plants so we'll have machinery so this is sales of machinery, cash book account, no, currency, one pound, allow direct payments, no, not into that account. Actually, we don't really need this one, but we'll leave it in there for the moment. So I can save that account now. Now, the only other thing I've got to do is look for an account to delete. Now to do this, I better pick one obviously which I know I can delete. So I'm going to view as text a complete list of the accounts here. And I'm going to take out the foreign travel, which is that one, the 7260. So what I'm going to do is go into the nominal ledger, account details, and enter 7260. Ask it to find it. Seven six two zero. I wanted. Sorry, my mistake there. Now the important thing here is that if there are any transactions in it, it will not allow me to delete it. So I have to check down here. No debits, no credits. There aren't any transactions there, so I can in fact delete that account. So there we are. Am I sure I want to delete the account? Yes, I am. Okay. So I can just check that by going to the nominal ledger again and producing my list of accounts and I look as a report and it was 7620 and we can see 7620 has now gone so we have deleted that account so we now know how to rename a nominal account how to add another nominal account and how to delete a nominal account remember that when you add a nominal account you've got to get in the correct groups let's just remind you of that one for account details so if I take in 4000 and ask it to find it we need to make sure that we've got it in the correct reports group which is sales we need to make sure it's got a heading and that's really about it okay so we say that's fine and that's accounts in the nominal ledger. Thank you.